That was inspiring. And I'd like to uh, add my thanks and say that, you know, the, that Shinchi and Jackie did a great job getting us to this, to these last two days, the planning committee, very dedicated, the staff, making it so easy for us to come together and get this important, important work done. Um, I, I just can't thank you enough, and to be included has been a big honor. I think that um, what I want to echo are a few key points, and that is we know a lot. We just heard uh, MT say we know a lot, and we need to uh, ask each of us to take what we not only have learned collectively over the past two days, but what we know from our own domains, disciplines, and move it forward. There is not a day that goes by that I don't think about this issue, either in my practice or my research or in my family life. And what I want to say is we know a lot, and we're at a moment where we actually can push forward and make some differences, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, and I am optimistic. So I'd like to say that what you hear uh, today is the passion that I've always associated with meetings related to elder abuse and neglect, elder mistreatment. But what is really exciting is that the evidence base is moving forward. And while we're highly critical of ourselves, as we always have been in this uh, area of elder abuse and neglect, we can begin to be more celebratory about the evidence that we do have and begin to move it. And I love the global nature of what we've been talking about and the way that the connectivity of the world is just so dynamic and exciting in ways that it really was not possible uh, in the past. So that's really exciting. So some key points that I would underscore from the, the multitude of expert speakers we've heard from, it's really been quite remarkable, the people who have, who have come together and spent time with us to, to take their good ideas, put them forward, people who have been working in this field for many years, and aren't we fortunate for the new people who are joining us in this space. What I want to say is that uh, key points I would make is to be proactive. Think about how to push the, push the uh, rock up the hill. Do whatever you can. Uh, act up and make sure that you are pushing ahead on what you believe is right for the benefit of older adults in societies everywhere. I would say as a scientist, def define your variables. Do not wait for people to define them for you. It is up to you. Otherwise, it becomes one big circular loop. If you're waiting for somebody to give you a definition, you will wait a very long time. So get your metrics where you want them to be. Get your data and your variables where you want them to be. And let the arguments begin in, in the literature and in the, the, the uh, wonderful conferences that we hold. But state your truth and move it up. Get, get moving. OK. Share your data. Share your data. Whatever you know, make sure others know it too so that they can criticize it, uh, uh, tell you where they see it flawed, tell you where they think there's strength. Make sure you share your data. And, and isn't it wonderful that I think we'll make progress in this collectivity around adult protective service data. People will say, we collect it differently. We label it differently. Well, that's the way it goes. We have to move it ahead and do it in the name of moving the Elder Justice Act ahead and getting it. Uh, reauthorized because we have to say these are the, the strides that we've made. Use it, use it, use it. And uh, get to your state offices for aging or whatever the label is where you are. Get to your collective uh, APS conferences and use that data. It's so powerful. Is it easy to get? No. Is it easy to interpret? No. But you can do it. And I am really like the way we're moving that along. Create partnerships. Create partnerships. As in the famous words of uh, people I used to work with at the Division on Aging, one equals zero. One equals zero. So if you don't have a collective partnership around you, form one and uh, make sure that you're working wisely. Because this work is exhausting. It's exhausting. And in your most tired moment, make sure you're picking up the phone. Uh, I'm thinking about work creative partnerships like, for example, measurement work groups. We've heard a lot of people talk about measures. We've heard people comment about uh, instruments for collecting data. Well, it's time to just, you know, get on Skype, forget about the conference grant that you didn't get, and, and get those conference calls going where you can do your measurement work groups and have that wonderful exchange about what's working and what isn't. Encourage consortia. Reach out to your friends who have common interests with you. And I know that, that that's really, really key for each of us in these days of accelerated pace. 
when all of us are being asked to do more. Kathy, I'm sure you do ask your group to do a lot, and don't we all? So use your dynamic ability to partner and move things ahead. Get your consortia going. Um, take programs where they're at. We've heard a variety of levels of sophistication in the conversation over the last two days. Some just starting, some accelerated, and, and I'm thinking about the, the extraordinary work that's been done uh, with the Hebrew Home for the Aged in Riverdale. Not only did, do they have the wine, wine Berg Center, but they have a map where people are replicating it. So pushing your work out, making sure that you don't slow down, and, and by all means, do not give up. Do not give up. What I'd say is that each of us can, you should ask this question. This is an important question. So we've been here two days. What are you going to do tomorrow? What's the one thing that each of you, we ask ourselves this question, but honestly, write, write it down. What are you going to do tomorrow? I know what I'm going to do. And poor Shinchi. <laughs> and I, as I think about the fact that, that uh, Carmel, Shinchi, and I will press, press ahead with, intervent, with an intervention idea that we're, we're um, talking about. And, and uh, push ahead. Ask yourself what you're going to do tomorrow because you were at this very rich and important meeting today. I'm honored to be here. Thank you. <laughs>